Hey there, Louis Acabalis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can disable subsite creation in SharePoint Online. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now before I show you how to disable subsite creation in SharePoint Online, I will start by showing you how you can create a subsite. And then after we disable subsite creation, we'll go back and we'll verify that we can no longer create those subsites. Now you can see here that I am on the main page of a SharePoint Online site. In the modern experience, this is a modern SharePoint Online site. Now, if I click on site contents and then I click on the new drop down, you can see here that I have this menu option to create a subsite. Now, I have the site owner permissions over the SharePoint Online site, and so I'm able to create subsites from the site content page. Now, you can see here that I've switched over to a classic SharePoint site in SharePoint Online. So, this is specifically a site collection that was created using the classic SharePoint site template. And again, if I click on the site contents and you can see here that I am in the site contents page for this classic SharePoint site. Now, if I go ahead and scroll down, you can see here this option to create a new subsite. Now, once we go ahead and disable subsite creation, you're going to see that this option and the option we just saw in the modern SharePoint online site is no longer available to users with the site owner permissions. All right, now you can see here that I have navigated to the SharePoint Admin Center. Now, in order to disable subsite creation, you want to click on the Settings option in the Navigation menu. Next, you want to scroll to the bottom of this page and you want to click on Go to Classic Settings. This is going to open a new browser tab and on this page are a bunch of different settings that you can change. If you scroll down, you're going to see a subsite creation group. And you'll notice that there are a few different options here. Now you can see here that enable subsite creation for all sites is the default setting. And if you want to change that default setting, you have two options. You can enable subsite creation for classic sites only or you can disable subsite creation for all sites. Now, what I will do is I will start by clicking enable subsite creation for classic sites only. And if I scroll down and click okay, that setting will be saved. And what I'm going to do is I'm now gonna switch back to the SharePoint online modern site to demonstrate that that create new subsite option has disappeared. All right, now you can see here that I have navigated to my SharePoint online site. And if I click on the new dropdown, you'll notice that the option to create a new subsite has disappeared. And you can see here that I've now navigated back to our classic site. And if I refresh the page, and if I click on return to classic SharePoint and scroll down, you'll notice that this option to create a new subsite is still visible. So that was the setting where we enabled subsite creation only on classic SharePoint online sites and disabled it everywhere else. Next, what I'll do is I will go back to the SharePoint Online and Mid Center and disable subsite creation altogether. And then we'll come back and have a look at this page to verify that this option has disappeared. All right, you can see here I'm back on the classic settings page of the SharePoint Admin Center. This time I will select disable subsite creation for all sites and I'll scroll down and click OK. And that setting has been saved. Now I've navigated back to my classic SharePoint online site and I will go ahead and refresh my page. And you can see here that the option to create a new subsite has disappeared now from this classic SharePoint online site. And again, I've navigated back to our modern site and when I click on the new dropdown, you can see here that the option to create a new subsite is still not displayed in the new menu. So that's it. In this tutorial, I showed you how you can disable subsite creation in SharePoint Online. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acobellis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.